Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're going to look now at alpha curves, which is a way of adjusting the transparency of parts of the image. And it's particularly useful in things like selecting here if you're doing a cutout. So I'm going to start off, really show how the thing works, and then we're going to apply it to this picture. So first of all, let's just go get a new document. We'll go to document transparent background to get up the checkerboard, show there's nothing there. Go down to new layer, so we've got something to paint on. Get a paintbrush. Opacity 100, hardness about 50 is fine. Pick a colour, something nice and bright. There we go. So what we've got here then, we've got some solid colour in the middle, we've got some fading off to the edge, and then further out we've got no colour at all. So we measure the alpha is the same as opacity, which is the same as transparency. And so we say that um, in, in every pixel, each pixel has got red, green and blue channels. It's also got alpha. So the alpha is, controls the transparency from 0 to 1 and or 0 to 255 scaled. It's the same thing. So what can we do with this? Well, it's very simply, let's go to Adjustments and go to Curves. And on the RGB, we change from Master down to Alpha. And first of all, let's look at what the histogram is telling us here. But down the bottom end here, by the way, first thing on that is that this uh, axis and both axes now are not luminosity as they are in red, green and blue. They are Alpha, which is transparency. So down here, completely transparent. Up to here, the top there is completely opaque. And that's before, and up here is after, from transparent to opaque. So if I move this one here, then if I go up to halfway there, what that's saying is what was zero, which was completely transparent, is now half transparent which is why all the area, the pixels around the outside here have now gone darker. And if I take that all the way to the top, then all the pixels have had the alpha turned up to one, and the black area, there was nothing there, so it was uh, at zero, and zero, 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 grey, green, and blue is black. The line here shows where the end edge, the extent of that blob of paint is. So if I bring it down here, you can see it goes out, you know, there's the original blob here. It goes out quite a long way. In fact, to the extent where you can't really see it, but it is there. Now that can be important, particularly if you're doing some adjustment on it, which suddenly pulls up those things and suddenly you've got this stuff appearing in the background. Now, what was that? If I go to the right here, then you can see it, it's reducing it because what it's saying is what was 50% now is now zero. In fact, everything below it is zero. So all the outside is now effectively pulled in. So if I pull this to the right, it shrinks it. In fact, if I go all the way, this is now all that's left is that which was solid color already before. If I go to the other end, if I pull it to the left, now what's happening is it's effectively growing it because it's pushing the solid colour out because this is saying here that what was 25% is now 100%. So if I go all the way there, it'll go out and make a solid one so I can see now the extent of that. And then you can also, of course, play with curves here, which we'll do in a moment. So we'll go to back to the picture. We'll do a very quick selection. So I'll take the selection brush and I've got snap to edges selected. I'll very quickly go around this here. So that'll do I'll do a very quick refine and I'll go around the edges of the hair here and make the brush a bit bigger to go over these whole areas 
Yeah. And then I'll apply that. So I've got a selection. Then I'll Control C, Control V, copy and paste, paste it to a new layer above. Turn off the layer below, Control D, gets rid of the marching ants. Now if we go into this, you can see you've got a bit of colour around the edge here, which is picked up from the, the background. So let's put on a curves above here. On the RGB, go to Alpha. And if we see it, say, play around here, if I go up here, this actually shows the extent of the pixels which are partly selected. So I've actually got quite a lot out there, which may, you know, can cause you problems. And if I went back this way, I can see I can bring out just the, the colour in there. So I want to do something about it. So what I want to do is the pixels here, if I pull this up here, if I pull it down a bit here, you can see here that is getting rid of that colour there. In fact, I pull it down down here because I want the low opacity pixels out here. I want to make them even less visible. And the higher opacity pixels, which include around the hair, I want to make those more visible. So I'm creating contrast around the edges of the hair. You can see the way that affects that. So before and after. See the way you're removing the green, the that edges, that fringing around the edge of the hair. Anyway, that's it. That's as far as we'll go this week. You can see now how you can use it, how you can play with it, how it works. So hopefully that's very useful for you and thank you very much for watching.